Hello guys and girls, welcome to the next episode of Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. Oh, we've got some exciting things to do today. We're almost ready to hook up our water system here to the geyser geyser. We also have this working now. Um, all we need to do, in fact, let's just disable that for now. Uh, all we need to do is get our water coming down here, so we need that going. Just before I dive into that, uh, we set up this air scrubber last episode. It's doing well, keeping on top of the carbon dioxide. I didn't realise that there was no way for the carbon dioxide to get easily out of our base unless one of these two doors is open. So as nobody's allowed in here... Oh, they're never going to dig that because nobody's allowed in there. <laughs> Let's automate that door. Um, I'm going to put a nice hole through here where it can all sort of flow through through these gas permeable tiles. That is the idea. Um, yes, so that's what they're doing at the moment. Stress levels are okay. We're not taking any duplicates no matter how good they are. Yep, not at the moment. Yeah, stress is okay. It's not too bad. What are these set at at the moment? 55 and that should be a little bit lower at 50. Yeah, and these are probably the same, 55 and 50. Yeah, that will do for now. Get them below 50, and it gives us a little bit of a gap before it gets to 60. Um, so the power, I've run the thick power line down the side here, all the way to the bottom, um, which is good. I'll be interested to see. Let's have a look at our circuit. So potential power consumes is 4.4 kilowatts over the whole thing. And it's only so this will need to be upgraded as well at some point. That'll be the next thing. I know what's going to happen once we get all of this going. Uh, it's not going to work, is it, really? But we want to get all these pipes done. We've got lots of pipes and things in between. I want to set that priority to nine. Otherwise, they are never going to open that. Yep, change that to auto. So somebody will come in and do that. Thank you very much. In fact, there's nothing else set to nine. Apart from massaging at the moment. So I'll get that done and that door open. Or somebody come and do that. And then we need to get our water pipe. Uh, we've got our water coming in. Yes, we have. Uh, this thing here needs the valve change. So we want a filter coming out. Which is... Let's have a look. The filter coming out this way. We want oxygen coming out. So there we go. Aha! It's already working already. Had some stuff in there. So what have we got in here at the moment? Carbon dioxide. Electrolyzer. Let's have a quick look at that. So effects. Lots of oxygen and hydrogen as well. So yeah, that's going to break a few times while it pumps out whatever carbon dioxide in here. I don't think there's much. No, we'll have to just deal with that. We could have filtered that out separately, but meh. Oh, actually, if we do... Oh, if we put that face in the other way... Made a mistake there. Should have had that face in the other way. So we filtered out only hydrogen to go into here. And if anything else into the base. Who's idle? JVP. Why are you idle? I may change that round. Seriously? You've got nothing to do? Dig? There's so much stuff to do. Don't be idle. Oh, this has been dug out already. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Let's dig out the rest of this then. There we go. And then, of course, once we've got our heavy watt wire running through that middle section. What? Oh, you can't get out. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll unlock this door for you. There we go. JVP, change the door to auto. Door is locked shut. Duplicate to automate door. There we go. You can get out. And then we can turn that back to lock again. <laughs> we can turn that one back to lock again and they'll get to that eventually. Yeah, that's dug out. Then the carbon dioxide, there we go, look, we can see already it's filling up this. We'll come down here and get worked on by those things. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's just take a look around. Uh, what do we need them to work on? We need them to work on all of this down here. We need them to work on the pipes. There we go. And this one here, please. That's it, not the doors. We need to work on the pipes that the oxygen is going to be brought around with, which is good. We need, I think we're going to need to get this set up first before we hook up these two. I think we're just going to be overpowering everything trying to do it for one natural gas generator. Because uh, we reckon we could fit in another two here if we took these out. Maybe one more. We'll get to that momentarily once they've done that. I am thinking I'm going to change this around. Yeah, because this is going to be a bit of a mistake here, isn't it? So let me sort this out. Uh, make sure we're only sending hydrogen into here. We don't want to break it. And I'll be back with you. 
Here we go. So I've got this thing switched around the other way. So we've got our intake over here, our output up here, which will be set to just hydrogen. Everything else will get sent into the base. If there's a bit of carbon dioxide in there, that will just filter through. As we can see, it's now running through here. Excellent, which is good. So hopefully this can keep up with it. At the minute, power is a little bit of an issue. Um, everything's running at the moment. What's that waiting for? Sleep wheat grain? Oh, we're out of sleep wheat grain. That could be an issue. We could change that to mush fries. We get rid of that one. Yeah, we got lots of mush bars. Frost bars. We've got 41k of frost bars. Okay, that's fine. So we're not running out of food anytime soon. Oh, I love it when a plan. That is unreachable. Seriously? What? Can't you reach it from over here or up there or something like that? Okay, just dig this out. We'll stick a ladder in there if we need to, to get you to dig those. You could reach definitely out. You could reach the pipe that was over here, but you can't reach the... Yeah, look, they can reach the pipe there, but they can't reach this thing. Okay, now it's not unreachable anymore. Okay, good, good. Uh, maybe we'll cancel that. Yeah, that's fine. Somehow they're going to jump across. Oh, I see. Well done. Well done, little fellow. We're then going to put a... One of these, made from abyssalite on there. Close that off. Excellent. We've got this connected up here as well, which needs an electrical wire into there, just to store up a little bit of battery power, which would be nice. That's turned off at the moment. So then the next thing is to dig that out, run out. I mean, this water's going to run down here and sort of fill up all of that, and it's going to be pretty warm. So some of this is going to melt, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so this wall all the way up here is now done. There we go. Which is keeping the heat separately. That is waiting. Can we just sweep that up? What is that in there? Thimble reed seed. Let's sweep that up. Good, good. Oh, they've started digging this out. Excellent. I bet they can't reach half of this, can they? Let's get a ladder down here. There we go. To dig that up. So what I'm going to do is open this wall up here. And this will be where my water fills up. And then it will get pumped out into this section. We could just dig all of this out as well. Do you know what? While we're here doing work, we need the slime. Let's put, let's put this down here. And dig out all of this. To open up this area much bigger for all of this uh, output here. It's not filling up too quick. But let's cancel that one now. I think that would be a good idea. And then let's just make... Yeah, they're being built already. Excellent. Let's do that. Let's make that a priority nine along there. There we go. That'll be good. So, and then what we'll do is we'll dig all of this out. Dig that out as well. That water will spread out a bit. Excellent. Yep. Good plan. Good plan. Right. So, this is going. That's another battery on this network from here. So, that's going to fill up as well. Right. No filter. We want... Hydrogen, there we go. Coming out into there. Yep, that's it basically. That thing is now set up. I don't think we need to... Yeah, we don't need all that over there. So that's fine, that's it. So all we need to do... Is start getting the water to come into here. Which is this one, which is coming from up here. So we just... I mean, I don't know whether... I don't know whether there's enough oxygen to get enough uh, electricity to get that going at the moment. I think maybe. Whoa! Where's that coming from? Where is all that natural gas coming from? It's like suddenly coming from down here somewhere. Oh, look! There's A, B still down there, stuck. I mean, this isn't coming through the wall, is it? Hmm. I don't know whether I'm going to go as far as digging over here, but we're going to definitely get this bit done anyway. Grab all of this slime. Whoever comes digging down here is going to have fun, I tell you. We may only dig out half of this. <laughs> we'll see how they go. Let's speed things up a bit. How's the food? Yeah, how's the oxygen? The oxygen's pretty rubbish, to be honest. They're living... They're basically living off of polluted oxygen because we can't get enough algae in the slime. So I'm wondering whether we should just open this up. Uh, we should just get this done. And at least get it going. So let's do... Let's do this. 
and see what happens. I'm hoping nobody's going to die in the process of getting this done. Uh, there's some electrical wires that need to be attached there. Mm, it's almost showing like they're not attached. Oh, there we go. They're now attached. Good. So you can get in and out there a bit quicker. And everything should be ready. So the wires are there. The water's there. That's going over the top. That's then going down here. Then it'll be going over there. And then we can stop using this water here. Okay. Right. Who's going to be the person who's going to risk their life and limb? Oh, this is all being done now. Look. Yeah, this is all getting a bit deadly up here, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm wondering whether I need to close this bit off or not. No power. Let's have a look. It's still going. It's still going strong. I'm just wondering, actually, for a second. That natural gas generator. Let's just slow this down. Yeah, everyone's getting a bit stressed. I need to calm them down a bit. Natural gas generator. Requirements. 60 grams a second. That pump is pumping out... What have we got in there? Gas pipe, a thousand grams. So, I mean, we've, we've got so much in there. We could put a filter sort of thing on there, but this is basically constant, isn't it? 60, 100, yeah, we could. I mean, maybe that's something we'll add later once we've got the second, the second generator on here. I could actually get that going, because now we've got a ladder going down there. If I get these bits built, we could add that in, couldn't we? Um, let's... Yeah, look, this is filling up. This is starting to fill up. We need to get this dug out. Yeah, we need to get this dug out. Otherwise, we are going to be out of space. So, let's go... Priority 9, all of that. Priority 9, dig in all of that. Let's dig as much as we can. What I don't want to do is make it impossible for anybody to actually work down here. Ooh, we don't want to go too close to this and get these mixed up. Let's stay there. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's do that. Let's see how they go. Plus, we're going to get a load of slime as well. That's going to break through there at some point. I know it is. And then we're going to need to do something with all of this nasty stuff. I mean, we can... A water purifier. That's going to use sand. We could stick a few of these in. And all they need is... And they make natural gas as well. So we could sort of funnel that up to here. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, you can get some... Oh, look, that's cracking already. Look. <laughs> it's going to burst. Look. This is going to burst. And there's going to be people stuck in here. How many are we... Uh, Otto is not doing very good at the moment. Oh, my goodness. And when that goes... I wonder if Abe's going to stay down there. <laughs> I don't think he's going to come floating out, is he? We should be okay. Man, this is full up. This really is full up. Oh, there we go. Look, this is... Let's just slow them down a minute. We can now put our other natural gas generator in here, can't we? So let's do that. So that just needs a gas intake, a gas outtake. And that's it, isn't it? Is that all this has got? It's got the power connected to it. Doesn't need that water pipe coming from over there, does it? But we've got that there. Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. Let's get that in then. That's going to go there. So it can drip over these like this one. And that's probably going to be it for here. And that's just automatically going to... Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoop, wrong button. Uh, output. That's the output. So we need to change our piping a bit here, don't we? Um... All right, you come and build that. Let's get... Gas pipe... Into there. And then this is going to have to go over the top. And then we're going to need some sort of bridge, aren't we? Gas pipe bridge. Will that... Will that connect on there? Oh, no, it won't. Uh, if we do that... Hang on, let me think about what I'm doing here. I could do that to go over the top. And then the other one to go up. Yeah, that should do it, shouldn't it? So that's intake, output. Yeah, let's do that. So if that goes there like that, then this can go 
there and there, and that one can go there. Yeah? And then we'll disconnect that connection there. That should do it. How's this going? Oh, it's spitting, it's spitting. I just don't want anyone to get washed down into here, because that would not be good. Oh, look at this, it's all cracking. In fact, if we dig this bit out here as well, and just let this crack, and then when it goes, it goes. I just want to get as much of this slime as I can. In fact, I think I'm going to cancel all of that. Dig that out, let the water go, and run. Actually, that may not go now because it hasn't got the pressure behind it. So can you... How much of this can you grab? Up to there. Maybe those. Let's see what they can do. That's going to fill up. Yeah, that gives us some more space down here. Okay, so that's good. Oh, this has been put in. Okay, let's... Yeah, this is all going to get confusing now, isn't it? Um, let us disconnect the gas pipe from here. Yeah. If you can do that for me, that would be great. Otherwise, we're pumping out natural gas into this over here. This void thing is fantastic. I'm loving it. If you haven't seen it before, it basically sucks anything you put near it into it. So any water, any gas, or anything. And it keeps up with all the pressure that we've been sending it, which is perfect. Okay, there we go. Yep, so that's going round and going in. I don't know what this little bit is here that's stuck. So then we just need to connect this one up again. The output to there. There we go, it's moving. Perfect, so it's just this now that needs to be made. There we go. And then that is going to be connected via some nice big power heavy watt wire. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure the right way of doing this. So these heavy watt wires, max power 20 kilowatts. Oh, okay, no, we're fine. So these natural gas generators only produce power 800 watts. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. So if we then get this... There we go. I'll do that the same. Going across, going up, and connect to there. Then that's 1,600 watts altogether. What is on this network? Potential power. 4.7 kilowatts. Yeah, there's a lot on here. <laughs> there's a lot on this network. Nobody's come in here yet to do anything. Oh, that's because we haven't set that to be dark, have we? <gasps> okay, get in there and dig that out. It may be that I don't have to put these in. We'll just let that crack and break. That would probably be... Yeah, look. Look, 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 look. Starting to crack. Okay, Lindsay, dig it and run. Yep, she's looking at it. She's getting stressed. Why is Lindsay... She's at 60%. Right, run, run, run. And then nobody come in again. Lindsay, move. Thank you. Right, we're going to lock that door. Right, nobody needs to come in. I'm pretty sure that is just going to break. Yeah, look, it's cracking. Oh, you've locked it. Well, that was clever, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's sweep up all of this first, then. Go on. Sweep up as much as you can, Ellie. Well done. We'll come back to that, see if that cracks. How's this going? Oh, here we go. Look. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Nice. So we're about to double our power once this power cable is connected. There we go. No one else has died, have they? No. Nope. And we've got plenty of space in here. So we can shelve worrying about that until later. Oh, we need to disconnect. Deconstruct that. No, we don't. We just need to cancel deconstruct. You just deconstruct that one. Actually... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have this all closed off. We should. Let's deconstruct that. Because we don't want this nasty gas coming up into here. So we'll close that off. And then we'll let this pick up all the water. So that'll be good. Let's speed them up a bit. How's food? Food's okay. Stress is mere. Somebody else. We can't take anybody yet. Quick glance at them. No. We're fine. We're fine. How's this going? Okay, I'm going to let them grab all of these bits first, because there's some algae in here. I think we're going to have to dig these out. They're not going to... They're not going to give way. 
Are you going to come and make... You might come and build that piece of wall there. I don't think you really need to. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, four people are stressed. Oh, there we go. We're almost there. We've almost got our second power thing connected up. Yeah, we want that to be heavy what wire there, please. Yep, and that's ready to go in. Look at that. See, we could even remove this and put a third one over here. Which I think would be a fantastic idea. So I am going to deconstruct that and deconstruct that. <sighs> We've got our batteries here, which is a bit annoying. We may need to remove those. And we can have that water dripping down into this section as well. Yeah, we're going to do that. How big is this thing? Oh, there's plenty of room. As long as it goes there... Yeah. Well, let's get this one hooked up first. Come on. This one power cable. And then we've got our power going. How are you doing here? Yeah, we're going to get this dug out here. We need our oxygen going. Right. Someone's going to come in here and almost die digging this out. Who's it going to be? Hopefully the least stressed out person. And that means this will start going. We don't have these done yet. But I want this to start. Just so we know it, it works. Run! 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 Get out! No! You move to here. That's it. Don't go in there again. Oh, man. He's sopping wet, and I want that to be locked on a nine. No one else is to go in there. Perfect. Well done, Jim UK. That is now pumping. Let's have a look. Uh, wrong one. Yep, it's going across there, down here. Perfect. So then if we turn this on, these are going to start working when that gets down there. Here it comes. And we're going to start getting another boost of power from this. I've forgotten about that one, actually. So that's going to help as well. There we go. Yay, oxygen. I'm hoping I've got the... Oh, look at all that oxygen. We probably don't need two in there, to be honest. And let's see. Yep. Yeah. So that's pumping out the oxygen. It doesn't seem to be going through. <laughs> oh, I know. That's because you've got nowhere to go, is it? Look. So I don't know whether it's even going to head up the pipes. It won't, will it? Because there's nowhere for it to go just yet. So I'll tell you what. We'll just... Oh, darn it. We should have put a switch. Oh, it's, it actually is stopping because it's got nowhere to go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll leave that going. Everything stops there for now. How's this going? Oh, the other one's going. Perfect. Right, let us put a block on there. We're going to close that off. I don't think I'm going to get a third one over here. That was originally the plan. There, but it means destroying all of these doors and stuff. I mean, we could do. There's no reason why not. No one's going to go in there. There's no reason for them to come into here. So if we remove all of this, we could get a third one that side. Because I don't think this side. Let's cancel the deconstruct on that. Let's have a look at what it says. Uh, produce 1.6 kilowatts. Potential power 4.7. So we're still sort of... Is that one ever going to get locked? Let's put that on a... Put that back to a 5. Okay. We seem to be doing all right. Right, so let's get the oxygen coming up here. Let's get a 9 on this pipe. All the way along to the end. We're just going to put this pipe everywhere. And then we're going to decide where we want our vents. Oh, these are actually going now. <laughs> we've actually got some slime. Oh, that's it, because we've dug all this out. We've actually got some slime. Um... Yeah, well, um, before we add anything else, let's just get this set up first. Oh, this is so exciting. How much oxygen's in here? Thousands. Thousands of oxygen. So let's grab a gas vent. So this pipe's going to come across here. We can have gas vents everywhere we like. So we could have... We want one up here somewhere. So that pipe's going to have to come up here. But we can add that in later. We could have one there. One there. Um, we're not actually putting any down there at the moment. I think if we do that for now, and then what will happen is that will actually push 
any oxygen we have, uh, any other bad gases we have, down and out the way. If we put the oxygen in up here, it'll go up this way anyway. Why is this thing never going to get deconstructed? Oh, uh, it's not on a nine, you see. Oh, they've started to work on this now, which is good. That's only at seven. So that shows I've got good priorities going on here. Good priorities. All of these doors are locked again. Yeah, so that will come in there and it will just start pushing down the carbon dioxide. Oh, man. Food shortage. Now nah, we're fine. And then we can get this. And then we can get this hooked up. This is the next thing. Let's look at the temperature of the water here. Liquid pipe, water, five degrees C. So it's already cooled it down. What does it come out here at? 43. 33. It crosses over into this side. 28. 27, 26, 24, 20, 79. Oh, that is fantastic. So it runs it down through this cold area. That's going to be perfectly fine for over here. Nice. No restrooms built. What are you talking about? So now we've got a proper water power supply. Then we can start setting up things like bathrooms and... Oh, man. Ah, things are going well. Uh, waiting gold amalgam. We've got some of that. Yeah, batteries are full up. Yeah, do you know what? I think we will put this in. This other one over here. It seems silly to only have two. I might set this one up. Let's send power somewhere else. But let, we can see how that goes. So we're basically not going to be relying on these for much longer. In fact, they may even just get removed once we've got these on. Oh, it's only on a five. I checked all those. They were on priority nine. There we go. They are now. Yeah, food's going down a bit. Restroom broken. Why is that broken? Oh, wire bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Let's change that. That should be a heavy wire going through there. Oh, it won't, will it? That should be a wire bridge. So the wire bridge is acting as if it was a low watt wire. Mm, okay, I won't worry about that right now. We're changing all that anyway, aren't we? Now we've got this big cable. There we go, that's going in. That is going to mean this is probably going to start going again. Here it comes. Hooray! The gas pipe is containing oxygen that is at 7 degrees. So it's getting nicely cooled as it comes up here. When it gets up here, is it going to heat up? Suddenly, it's at 26 degrees. <laughs> Darn it. We should have made our pipes coming up here out of abyssalite or something else. As long as it doesn't get overly hot. 28 degrees C. That is fine. Because what's the temperature up here anyway? 26, 25. Yeah, that's no problem at all. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, it shouldn't go down that pipe. Look at that lovely, lovely blue stuff. That is what we need. So these can now go down to a lower priority. We do not need to monkey around with those too much. They can come down to a seven. Might as well. Oh, this is great. Let's speed things up a bit. You've still not been deconstructed, you flower vase. Look at you. Uh, is that blocking that? I don't think so. No, it's going up. That is perfect. That is perfect. And how's this doing? Oh, it's getting some power coming in. So that produces 800 watts. Uh, power generators. Hydrogen. And two natural gas generators. Yep, all showing on the same thing. And that battery's full up nicely. What's the... It's never going heat to up, heat up too much, is it? There we go. We can see the hydrogen coming out. Woohoo! And soon they should come down here and start doing this. So... We really need to get all of this done. So that's going to become an 8. Because I want this done before they build this up here. Because we are running out. We've got 16 sleet wheat grains. Low air pressure. Stifled. I wonder if we could pump. Pump oxygen. Oh, they're all stifled. Why are they all stifled? Oh man, is this going to be another issue? Well, let's let them get this all built. Um, they can also dig out that, that, that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. 
But this should be cold enough down here. Minus 3, minus 10, minus 11. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Is that another person? No, it's not. We're all in bed. Yeah, we're going to have a food shortage again. That's okay. We can prioritise food a bit. All we need to do is put food on 9 for a few minutes and we'll be fine. At the minute, technically, it's only these two making food because... Yeah, mush bars aren't going to be made quick enough to turn into fried mush bars before they're eaten, probably. So we'll keep that going. Oh, I'm so pleased with the way this has turned out. So that's going okay. That's going okay. We've not had to use any transformers yet, which is good. This is pumping nicely. Yep, that water's going to come in here. This will get confused because we've got water coming in from two directions. But as soon as this pipe along here is done... In fact, what I might just do is... Priority one, those two pipes. Yeah. Or well, that one. <laughs> the only one that's left. And we'll change that at the end after we've stopped this one pumping out. Uh, because then it will pump up into there. And we didn't need this one up here, do we? So, yeah, we could disconnect that. We'll leave it there for now. How's this going? Yeah, that's going okay. Mm, maybe he's fallen down and got stuck, have they? I thought somebody got stuck there. Okay, I'm just looking at the sleep wheat that needs to go into here. It needs to be between minus 55 to 5 with a gas pressure of 150 gram minimum. If we look at the temperature here, if you can close that off. Uh, so the temperature's getting above. There we go, look. I think it's all these materials being brought in are too hot. Um, gas pressure as well is let's have a look at this one 133 132 131 so what we need to do is we could help with this because the oxygen coming out of here if we have a look at this is at so that's carbon dioxide let's read the one here gas pipe contents oxygen 4.4 degrees c so if we pumped that into an enclosed room over here we could get the gas pressure up uh, we now have as well if we have a look at these, we have... Let's have a look. Gas valve. To increase or decrease the gas volume in pipes to maintain ideal pressure. We also have... Uh, let's have a look at this here. A hydro... Uh, atmo switch. Automate switch in power grid on or off based on ambient gas pressure. So we've used that before. We could put one of those in a room in here. If we enclose this in a nice room. And we could have that to turn on or off. Um, a switch of some sort that lets gas in from here. Not quite sure exactly how we'll do that, but we could regulate the temperature and the gas pressure in a room with our sleep wheat. So, yeah. I'm going to let them finish building this first, and then we're going to look at doing that. At the minute, we're going to have to just live off mush bars. But as for oxygen, this is going well. Let's have a look. This one here. Yep. Still pumping out nicely. What's the pressure getting up to? 700. It's going up. It's going up. Excellent. Power's going okay. Yeah, batteries are staying full overnight, so that's good. So at the minute, we don't need to put in a third natural gas generator. I think we're doing okay. This is fine. None of this is cracking or breaking or leaking or anything like that. So there's plenty of water. How's this going here? Is this all done? This pipe's all done. Okay, so we are going to switch around the direction of all of this by... Let's have a look. Let's disconnect our liquid pipe here. There we go. And then if we priority 9 this liquid pipe down there... So if you can build that for us. And whenever you're ready. There we go. So now the water will run in and up. Excellent. And that will fill up all of those. Run up here. Fill up our air scrubber. Run up here. Yeah, we don't need that one up there. That was going to an air scrubber up there as well, wasn't it? But that's not needed anymore. We could actually disconnect these liquid pipes. They are not needed. So if we remove those. What is that doing? That's just pumping the water down into here, isn't it? Yeah, so that's fine. That was some our air scrubber. So we get rid of those. And we could also disconnect these ones. Because they're not needed either. 
and that one, and all of this across here, and all of that down there, and all of that down there. Yeah, we don't need any of those, so they can get rid of all of them. Thank you very much. Good, so we need to think about building a room around this thing. And, I mean, we want to build it out of abyssalite, I would think, to keep the temperature in. Well, then again, I mean, we've got... This is a very cold area. It's supposed to be a very cold area. Minus... See, this this is a lot colder down here. I don't know whether this temperature will drop down again once all of this is built. But it's basically... Oh, it's a low air pressure. That's the basic thing at the moment. I mean, we could just solve that quite quickly by just letting some of this oxygen come out into here. I think we might just do that. Start filling this up with oxygen as well. And then hopefully that will cool down. What's the matter with this here? Something broken? The way to repair material. Oh, seriously? This one here? Ah. Okay. Maybe we need to put in a power transformer. I've got slightly distracted there. How big would that be? We could have that come down into a power transformer. And then... Maybe that's what's going on here. Let's hope that doesn't break anytime soon. We'll, we'll hang fire with that. We may need to do a bit of manoeuvring there. Um, let's... Whoa, what's happened there? Oh, that's fine. Let's get a gas pipe. To come. Down here. Out to there. They should be able to reach that. And a gas vent. Yeah, they can reach that. And just start pumping some oxygen into here. It's going to be 50% of whatever comes out of this system. And I'm hoping the temperature will be... It's minus 2... Uh, not minus 2, sorry. Oh yeah, minus 2. No, that's oxygen 4. I'm hoping it's not going to mess this up and free, you know, make it too hot. We could actually... Because this is like minus 6.5. I wonder whether we could just run our gas pipe a bit further up to here. By the time it gets up here. See, that's 18 degrees, 9 degrees. Mm. What have we got in the way of cooling? Let's have a look. Stations, medicine, refinement, utilities. Space heat, thermoregulator, right? We've got research that we haven't done. The thermoregulator cools the gas pipe through it. Hydrofan dissipates the amount of heat. A liquid tepidizer. Should we get them... Let's let's put the gas through here first. See what happens. That's priority nine. They'll get to that. And see how that goes. We're expanding our base nicely up here. They need to dig this out as well, don't they? They've forgotten about all of that. Let's zip along there. Get rid of all of that. So this will be more bedrooms. And this will be probably another massage studio. We could fit... Uh, furniture. Uh, massage table. Yeah, we could fit four in up here, couldn't we? We also need a couple of mess tables. I haven't got... Oh, the game's pause. Uh, we could do with that. Hmm, I didn't realise that was going to break our wire there. If I get rid of that, could they walk across and then reach it? Yeah, I'm going to deconstruct that. We need to get that fixed before it breaks. Otherwise, that just stops this whole flipping system. Let's see what happens anyway. Let's have a look up here again. Hypothermia! What? Seriously? <laughs> Where have you been that's cold enough to give you hypothermia? I don't know. How's the oxygen going? Building up still, slowly but surely. Okay, no more hypothermia. Food shortage, I know. But you're working on it, aren't you? Yeah, you're working on it? Good. Circuit overloaded. It's that one again. Is it going to get fixed? Yeah, we need to fix that. We need to get that done here. Ah, so many things to do. Okay, is this priority nine? It is. Can you reach it? You can. Maybe somebody will get there eventually. There we go. I thought that was going to be finished. <laughs> it's obviously not. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So we're going to start seeing, yeah, oxygen coming out over here. Good. Uh, this one. Excellent. Now, what temperature is that coming out at? Minus 4.5. So that is immediately getting nice and 
nice and cool as it comes across there. Excellent. So that, oh, look at it all spreading everywhere. Minus four, minus two. That is probably going to make a big difference. We could probably do a closing this off, I think. To try and keep this cool and, yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? Is I am going to, let's see. We're going to deconstruct that ladder there. We're going to deconstruct that ladder there. And we're going to put a couple of manual airlocks. One there. And then the other one here. Yeah, like that. We're going to keep this area sort of closed in. Well, it's enclosed all around the outside here. It's got abyssalite or abyssalite tiles all around it. So we can see that's all nice and cool and really get to cooling this down. Yeah, that's nice. That's coming out cold, cold. I mean... Just thinking, really, we could pump all of this oxygen into here, and then we could pump it out into our base, as opposed to it coming up from down here. Like that. Because that's 28 degrees. If we pumped it up from here... In fact, we could just redirect that pipe. Have an output gas... Do you know what? That is a brilliant idea. Instead of running it all up here, we could run that pipe up here, up the middle here, which will eventually be a lot colder. And then output it up here. And that would keep our base nice and cool. Okay, well, we'll, we will get to that. Why are you getting hypothermia? It's not cold there. What's the hypothermia all about? Uh, Ellie needs to get back to just mopping. Where is she? Ellie, you're doing mopping. You're doing sweeping, delivering, digging. Just do some mopping, please. Yay, oxygen's building up. I saw the snoring noise there. Who's snoring? Nobody should be snoring this time of day. Yeah, stress has gone up a bit. I've been forcing them to do all sorts of stuff. Okay, they'll get to those in a minute. Oh, yeah, look at all this lovely oxygen. Nice and cool. Let's get these planted. Seriously, we've only got like 16 sleep wheat seeds left. Wow. We need this stuff to grow. No way. We seriously need this stuff to grow. Otherwise, we are going to be in big trouble. Well, we're not going to be in big trouble. We're going to be living off mush bars for the rest of our life. <laughs> Which isn't nice. Uh, let's get all of these in. Oh, do you know what I can do? I'm an idiot. So let's do that. Copy settings. Zip. There we go. Forgot about that. Oh, what are these here? Aquatic farm tiles? Hydroponic. Oh, we don't want those. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Okay, we don't want these. Let's cancel these. Have I put the wrong ones in? Yeah, I think I have. Let's get rid of those. Hydroponic. That's what we want. There we go. Excellent. If we deconstruct that one as well, and all of those. Let's just check our water pipes. Oh, this is going so much better. This is going really good. And let's get those all the way along there. Oh, that's already done. There we go. Oh, one more of those. Hydroponic on a nine. Get that done. Okay, good. What priority is all that at? Eight, apart from you. Come back. Zip. There we go. Okay, we'll get there eventually. Um, so now we've disconnected that. That's not pumping anymore. Got two lots of water there that they can connect to. So we'll keep an eye on that. I may just connect. Uh, what am I looking for? This here. We could run a little water pipe around here somewhere. Just to drip some into an area they can get to. May have to do that eventually. Okay, what have we got? Circuit overloaded. Yeah, we know about that. Four people stressed. New duplicates. Um, yeah, no, nobody at the moment. We don't have the food. Food shortage. We've got a thousand calories. Food is on nine. So, food and massaging is on nine. They're struggling for air. I mean, we should have plenty of air coming up here. 500, then that gets split into 250, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Most of it's going here. We've halved the amount of air going into our base, haven't we? This coming down here is 
125 grams, is that all? Hmm, okay. Anywho, this is filling up nicely. Please don't be stifled anymore. Breathable gas, so is that too much? Sleep wheat. 150 gram minimum, so anything above that is fine. Okay, that's all right. Minus 55 to 5. Minus 6. Yeah, this is quite warm. These really aren't cutting it, cooling it down down here, are they? We could stick some more of those in. Uh, Wheeze Wart Seed Zero. I thought we got some of those. Oh, we got these ones down here, didn't we? Hmm. Wonder whether we could put those in somewhere on the edges over here. Cool it down a bit, maybe. Might be a good idea. Let's do that and that. Let's get this dug out and done. Please. There we go. And then we can put them in there. And just see if it helps a bit. Uh, flower vars. On there. And on there. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've got so much oxygen in here. We could easily have a couple of gas pumps. Um, so we could change this around a bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, if we move this over and we can see we can get two in here, I think we'd be. Uh, I think we'd be laughing. So let's get some ladders in there. We're going to deconstruct that. Let's get some ladders over here and we're going to deconstruct that. And we're going to move this pump over and trump pump out twice as much. Because at the minute, this is literally pumping out. Let's have a look. Uh, oxygen, 375 grams. It sort of changes. 620, 300. We could, we could just double that. That's what we need to do. This is still stifled. Toasty surroundings. Okay. Even with these right next to you, that's that's nuts, that is. Hmm, yeah, we need to work on that. Oh, there we go. Two of our doors are in, spot on. I'll tell you what probably changed the amount of gas down here is as soon as you put this air scrubber in. Because it just removes carbon dioxide. I don't believe it actually outputs any oxygen. No, it doesn't. So that's literally removing air that would have fallen down to here. So, there we go. Anyway, and then we're going to need to close this off, I reckon. Because at the minute, we're sort of filling up all of this area down here. So if we deconstruct that. So you're going to get deconstructed sometime next Christmas. Let's do that. Hydroponic, yeah. If we sort of close this area off, then whatever, whatever stays in here will, will be in here. I'm just thinking from an air point of view. What have we got here? Does not obstruct liquid or gas. Blocks liquid without obstructing gas. Oh yeah, I want one the other way around. I want one that stops gas but not liquid. And there isn't one, is there? Idle. Who's that that's idle? Ellie. Why are you idle, Ellie? Let's get you doing some stuff. Dig, deliver, sweep, build, harvest. Go on, get stuck in. I mean, the other thing is we can stick a couple of hydro fans in here. Oh, this guy's okay. Look. Ideal air pressure. What have we got? Uh, 848. Temperature's okay. What have we got? It says 19 degrees. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be right, should it? Because it says sleep wheat. Like, it's minus 55 to 5. And it's growing at 19. So it's basically the air pressure that's the problem here, isn't it? Okay, well, let's keep this going then. And yeah, uh, I don't know whether I want to... I'm just trying to think any downsides of blocking this off. I don't think there is. Let's just block this off for now with sandstone. Just all, whoa, all the way across to there. Yeah. And then we can... We can stick a door in here, can't we? Let's cancel that one. Starvation! Oh no! And go like that. If we de get off, deconstruct that. Yep, let's do that. Come on, who's my cooks? Are they just not cooking? Cooking, delivering, cooking. No, delivering. 
Come on, guys. It ain't hard. Work pending. Mush bars. Mush bars for everybody. They want a nine. And this just... I'll tell you what. We're going to turn those off. Just have mush bars. Forget anything else. What else have we got? No sleep wheats. Nothing much, really. <laughs> we're struggling for stuff. Yes. Okay, well... You'd have to live off whatever we've got. And don't get too stressed. That's what... Oh, zero. There we go. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. We're going to get... We're going to get liquid building up down here. I'm wondering whether, actually, to cancel... Cancel those. Let's not bother with that. That can still be deconstructed. Yeah, that's getting through okay. Alright, let's do that. Look, stuff is freezing. It's falling down and instantly freezing this polluted water, which is perfect. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh, JVP is incapacitated. Oh, he needs help and assistance. Come on, JVP. Somebody take quick. Time until death, 90 seconds. We have a bed assigned to JVP. Oh, there we go. JVPs pick themselves up. And got on the bed. Excellent. You relax there, JVP. <laughs> We've got starvation. We have no food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I've pushed you guys too much, I know. There's so many things I'm trying to get them to do at the minute. It is slightly stressing them out. So let me calm them all down so we can get some of our final jobs done. Right, I'm having to sort of reprioritize a few things because... We're getting a few incapacitated people and stuff. They're using this stuff down here and they're not able to stay in it long enough. <laughs> Jim UK keeps collapsing. He'll come down here to this and then he can't breathe because there's not enough oxygen in there. Uh, uh, uh. So we need this done so they can get up. Oh, they can't get up there. Look. I wish they can. What am I talking about? They can get around the outside. Yep, 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 yep. Stress vomiting. Oh, my goodness. Jim. No, don't do it. So it's another... Yes, some, some more fun with uh, with stress, but that's okay. We'll deal with that. Um, we can't, we don't have enough food. Sorry, goodbye. So if you can just get this done for me, then I can put my massage tables and my medical cot up here. Thank you very much. Because up here, there's a lot more oxygen and the temperature is much better. Down here, it's just all full of carbon dioxide. <laughs> that's no good at all. Okay, just, just stress from it in the same place. That's fine. And it'll get uh, picked up eventually. Oh, here we go. Look, we can do it now. So let's put in... 100% nails and Jim UK. No. Let's go level 9 with you. Why can't you go there? What is... There's something else behind there. There's a ladder behind there, isn't there? Let's deconstruct that. Go on. Oh, almost there. There we go. Excellent. So we can go like this. We can put that one there. And then we can put a medical thing next to it. And then we can just rearrange those when we get a bit more time. No, let's cancel that. Let's put the medical thing up here. Oh, actually. There we go. Let's get though. We can do it now. We can do it now. Let's rush and get it done. Massage table. Yeah. God, oh, they're all going to go to bed. Don't go to bed. Get it done. Red alert is the new nine. They can just deconstruct those things. I'll let them go to bed. <laughs> go on, you can do it. Starvation. Make the things. Okay, there we go. Back to bed. Whoa, somebody was smacking somebody there. Did you see that? Uh, medicine. We can have that in the middle. Oh, it's like one square out, isn't it? Mm, never mind. That can go there for now. And then all we need up here is a power wire. So let's run that up as well. There we go. Up to there. Up to there. Right, if you can do those, guys, then anybody that has to use those things is going to be able to use them and stay on them like these guys here. And not get off because they start suffocating. Which is what basically has been happening <laughs> the whole time. And then I want them to come and do this down here. Oh, they've done that. Okay, deconstruction pending. And then we're going to put a couple of gas pumps and double our oxygen up here. Because at the minute, 
we are struggling to get enough oxygen into the base. And then once we've cleared that out, we can finally get this main wire sorted through the middle of our base as well. There we go. And as if to help us out right now, Jim UK. There we go. Can come and use that medical cot. This medical cot can be deconstructed. So Jim UK can come up here, relax, breathe in some of this lovely polluted oxygen. Where is Jim UK? He seems to be somewhere else. I don't know. Here he comes. He's managed to bring himself over. Well done. Is he stress vomiting as well? Oh, that's someone else. Please don't stress vomit. You're our cook. Wash your hands at least, anyway. Now, why is it when people are starving hungry that food will end up decaying? I don't get that. Uh, Ellie, you're back to just mopping. I don't get that. Surely somebody would come along and eat it. What and sweet wheat? I don't... Why? Surely someone would just eat it and that would be that. Rather than just leaving it to decay on the floor. Everybody's stressed. Everybody's stressed. Don't worry. As soon as these are in... We should put the other two massaging tables here and put that somewhere else. We may move that anyway. We may move it. I think once we've got the four in, four is generally enough to keep things going. It is, honestly. Man, this episode's got so long. I just want to finish this off, get this oxygen going. I've had to build another one of these. We may need a third because of the lack of food. Let's just pause. Everybody but Otto is stressed because 60% and over is stressed. Um, we've got no food. Oxygen's okay, but our food production down here isn't working just yet. But we're getting there. <laughs> As I like to keep saying, we've got our extra natural gas generators. So power isn't a problem. Hit the big B with a tea stain. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow for the next episode. Can we survive with no deaths? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.